time because we were in an organization called the International Black Photographers, uh, in which Mr. Parks was a member. Um, my passion really started at uh, photography, for photography in Vietnam. Um, I got to Vietnam and I used to borrow everybody's uh, Brownie Hawkeye mm -hmm. because, you know, they say a picture says a thousand words. And I knew uh, what I was experiencing there that I, I wouldn't be able to verbalize. I can't even, couldn't explain it. And what a lot of people didn't talk about about Vietnam, they talked about the war, but they didn't talk about the beauty of the country. Mm -hmm. Vietnam was a beautiful country and the Vietnamese people were beautiful people. So I used to go around borrowing cameras, so this guy talked me into buying a camera. And um, I had that defeatist attitude, I won't know how to work it. When he says, I'll show you, and he was very different from the rest of us. He didn't get drunk and chase the women like we did. He's a very spiritual guy, you know? So I bought the camera and didn't know a damn thing about it. And uh, took, the pi took pictures. Uh, he showed me a few things, still didn't understand it. When I got back uh, here, stateside, a uh, guy kept trying to buy my camera, and I thought, I, said, I got something good here, right? So he said, well, come over to the, the uh, dark room, and I'll show you how to develop film. And I went over one night with him to the dark room, and, I saw the, and, and, and he showed me how to print. And I saw those prints come up in the solution. Okay, and that developer, I didn't want to chase no girls no more. I didn't want to drink beer and get drunk with the fellas no more. That was it, you know. And since then, and, and another thing too, after being in Vietnam, it just wet my taste for, tra for travel. And so once out of the service, uh, I spent about 22 years literally, literally crisscrossing the globe. I mean, from Kathmandu to Timbuktu and from Bali to Maui. And it was just adventure, intrigue, and some romance on the side. <laughs> but you leave the romance alone, man, I can kill you, right? But it was very exciting, just in, in, uh, uh, experiencing uh, the lifestyle of different people, you know, in different countries and whatnot. Like and I tried to stay away from touristy pictures. You know, I wanted something that was above National Geographic. I don't know if you remember the <laughs> magazine Geo. I wanted something that kind of had a little strength to it. And that's the, the kind of images that I always wanted. 